Well, we're now about to embark into the penultimate episode of Fargo Season 5 as Episode 8 has just concluded, this was most definitely a tamer episode in terms of not confusing us as much with what was going on especially when compared to last week's episode, which was partially set inside of Dorothy's mind. This one decided to go down the route of providing answers to many of the questions that we've had and made stakes high for a lot of the characters including a their will to a certain one-eyed. Somebody so with that let's jump into this episode recap breakdown and explain all that there was to take away from it here is Fargo season 5 episode 8 ending explained. Just to let you know this video will contain spoilers I just want to start by saying that I found the final shot of this episode to be such a powerful moving and upsetting shot to look at after Dorothy witnessed Danish's body being disposed of and Dorothy being harmed by Roy in a scene that was all about the build up and the pent. Uprage that we saw Roy having within him something that I'll touch on in a different section we saw the look of despair hopelessness. And the very idea that she could end up in the same situation that Danish did and even Linda did with being killed the reveal of Linda actually being dead something which many of us thought was the case after last week's episode made Dorothy realize that Roy could actually go as far as killing somebody that he loved if it meant that they wouldn't leave him and that was something which was truly felt and transcended the screen, even the framing of the final shot with Dorothy being behind the bars of the bed being handcuffed to them almost acting like bars on a prison cell was something which reinforced the fact that she was trapped and the chances of her getting out were slim this was a shot that I actually found quite upsetting to watch. And it was the first time that we really saw Dorothy have that sense of there being no way out we know Dorothy is. The Fighter and the person who has worked her way out of every situation that she's been in so this was one one that definitely hit hard the emotional performance from Temple was top tier at this moment to Roy's true colors within this episode we saw Roy's true colors not only be shown to the members of the public when he was at his sheriff's debate, but they were also shown to us the viewer when he returned back to the ranch this all stemmed from Danish's actions of getting three individuals to change. Their names to Roy Tillman in the hopes of turning the election into a bit of a joke something which did actually happen as Roy ended up storming off and hitting the female presenter in the face before leaving something, which shocked many of the people of the town that were witnessing it once he returned back to the ranch's wife and mother of the twins was saying how all of this stemmed from the fact that Dorothy was back on the ranch and was almost like a bad omen, what followed this was a one. Minute 58 C shot of Roy Tillman walking towards the shed that Dorothy was being kept in this buildup was made up of a relative close-up shot of Roy's face as we saw the burning rage that he had within him and underneath the scene was the song Toxic being played something which was truly reflective of Roy's personality the actions that he takes and the type of person that he is once he went into the shed we didn't see. But we heard him unleashing his wrath on Dorothy a moment that was horrible too. Listen to this was the first time that we saw Roy truly being like that towards a woman, and you could truly understand the fear that was present with Dorothy, and why it was that she wanted to escape and did escape all of those years ago, even when you go back to the beginning of the episode. Roy said to her that she was nothing and she was just going along with it because she knew the danger that he posed it also highlighted the control that an abuser can have and even when the victim doesn't. Want. To go along with it, they find themselves doing it because they know that the consequences could be far worse, there was a moment in the scene in the shed where it felt like Dorothy could have got the upper hand on Roy when she went behind him with the chain, but he managed to break it and loosen the tightness we saw Roy use physical abuse in this. But we also saw the mental abuse when he said that Dorothy would end up buried alongside Linda showing not only that Linda was dead, but it also showed us that Roy was trying to gain more control over Dorothy in that moment and inflict fear into her mind even more Gator and Ole Munch during this episode. We saw different sides of the relationship that Gator and Dorothy had from when they were younger coming out Dorothy has a completely different approach to Gator than what she does with Roy she's softer with him because she knows that by taking that approach it could work what we saw was that Gator clearly missed his mother Linda and that he didn't and doesn't know that his father killed her, as Dot lied to him and said that she saw her knowing full well that she didn't she did this as a way of trying to trick him into letting her go, we also saw Dot leaning into the fact that Gator was living in his father's shadow, and that he was trying to be the man that his father was not the man that he wanted to be it was revealed that Gator was the first out of five generations to not be the firstborn son named Ro Ro, which is obviously a main 
motivation as to why Gator tries to be his father, because he doesn't even have the name that his family has had for over 100 years after he left. Ol was in the back of his car, and it then cut to black so he didn't get to see what happened with the both of them. Gator thought that he killed Ol in the previous episode when he fired his weapon through the window at the silhouette. After tracking down the car and with him also killing the woman who was letting Ol stay at her house it seemed. Like Ol wanted to seek revenge, so I feel that's something that we'll be watching unfold in the next episode of the show, the both of them have never really liked each other, and with though they enjoy settling their differences, but Gator still having a vendetta that's only going to cause more problems for the young lad, now, Indira and Lorraine, well, Indira Alstead has finally come to her senses about her husband L, he was caught cheating on her in this episode, and it was her moment of realization, that she, needed to live her own life and do things for herself, so she left Elle and accepted the job offer that Lorraine put on the table two episodes back where she was going to be the head of security for her with Deputy Whit seeing Dorothy at the start of the episode with Roy he spoke to Indira and from there she went to the rain so they now know that Dorothy is being held against her will at Roy's ranch and judging by the trailer for next week's episode, the ranch is going to be getting ambushed by the police force in order to retrieve Dorothy from captivity with Danish being dead too, I feel that could give Lorraine and Indira more motive to send in troops judging by the fact that they wouldn't have heard from him what I like about this is the change that the Rain has had towards her daughter-in-law, no longer is she against her because she doesn't feel she's good enough for her son, but she's seeing everything that she's been through, and understands how much of a fighter she is and that she deserves. The respect for simply just being there and making it out alive overall review, I thought this episode was pretty good I don't think it was as good as last week's episode one thought that was potentially the best of the, the entire season so far. But this was one which developed the story on gave us some answers and tapped into the more emotional side of the characters which was present it exposed the evil mentor that Roy Tillman has within him and how he views Dorothy as his property, and that he owns her rather than another human being there wasn't really any oi in this episode, but I feel we're going to be getting a heavy focus on him in the closing two episodes as we'll either see him get the revenge that he desires, or I imagine he'll just move on Gator R as for now, and it doesn't vote well for the character, so I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen there Dorothy said that she was going to kill Roy Tillman, and I wonder if that's actually going to happen he deserves everything. That's coming to him as we've seen who he truly is, but I wonder if she'll be able to do that, or if he'll end up going to jail instead with only two episodes to go, I'm intrigued to see where it's going to go from here, I just can't wait to see what it's going to bring so there you have it Fargo Season 5 Episode 8 Ending Explain If you want to see more videos on Fargo Season 5 such as Endings Explained then click on the card in the top corner, or alternatively you can head over to my channel where You'll find them all, and finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the C to getting a dedicated video then head over to my letterbox profile, I even rated the Fargo movie over there, so if you want to see what I gave that then head over there what did you think of this episode, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time.